I learned that we are inherently predictable. As depressing as that is, if you play rock, paper, scissors with a very simple machine algorithm, it will beat you most of the time. That's how predictable you are. We can take your location data over the past couple months, and I can predict, after looking at your data stream, I can predict with something like 85% certainty where you're going to be at any given time of day. That's how predictable we are. And so we thought, if we could predict it, perhaps we could change it. And what better industry to try and change behavior than in, uh, than in the healthcare industry, where the CDC estimates in the United States at least that 75% of this healthcare or disease care spending is on chronic diseases that could be prevented. But it turns out behavior is actually really super complicated, as most of the people in this room already know. There's psychology involved, there's diet involved, there's fitness, et cetera. There's all this mesh of data, right, and crap, and different influencers on the way that we behave. But all this complexity actually reminded me of the similar complexities that exist in other industries where they're already using massive amounts of data and incentives to change your behavior. And what are some of those industries? Let's talk about retail, for instance. So this story is almost folklore now, and many of you have probably remembered the story about Target analyzing a bunch of data, figuring out that a young teenage woman was pregnant before her father figured it out. Father walks into the store outraged that she's receiving coupons for diapers, and it turns out he goes home and she cries and breaks down and admits it. Target knew before her father knew that she was pregnant, just from all the data that they were mining. They're doing this in energy too. There's a unique company called Opower, that basically makes your electricity usage known to you, and also your neighbors, by the way. Um, and it's had a great effect in getting people to lower their um, utility costs and lower their utility usage. And of course, the masters of the game is the financial services industry, where American Express literally spent $7.1 billion last year on rewards, incentives, and ways to keep you hooked, not just on American Express, but on buying more stuff. And all of us have been on the receiving end of multiple pieces of mail per day telling us about a new way to transfer your money from one credit card to the other, telling you about a new TV you could now afford because you know, we'll consolidate all your money, all the debt that you owe, and reduce your credit rate. And behind all of that is pretty sophisticated data sources and pretty sophisticated machine learning algorithms to figure out exactly how much it's going to cost them to get you to buy something and figuring out the profit margin in between, et cetera. So lots of sophistication going on in trying to nudge a certain type of behavior. And will this work in healthcare? And one of the things that's available and freely available in all these other industries is lots and lots of data, right? Lots and lots of purchase history. Every time you use that credit card, every time you go into you know, Safeway and use that loyalty card, right? you're giving the system more and more data about you. And there are lots of companies making lots of money behind the scenes, consolidating all that data and creating pretty rich profiles of you, and then running experiments just over and over again. 